look at it. Inside the Georgian derelict mansion. This must be worth millions. This episode, we explore an abandoned Georgian mansion valued at £4 million. We took our chance to sneak in while the coast was clear, avoiding security. We came across an amazing grand staircase with marble pillars and even the electric was on, light in the hallways. In the 1950s, the mansion became a luxury hotel, then a school for troubled children and eventually a care home which closed its doors for the last time in 2016. But now the mansion is slowly rotting away due to being grey 2 listed. What an incredible place. Gardens all overgrown. Even these parts are probably 150 years old or something. The front gates are just wide open, but it is baked because there's people living all around this place. behind those doors. <laughs> so open it up. Even just this room, just think how much it's worth in materials and stuff and craftsmanship. I know, I don't know how long that chandelier is going to stay because uh, there's water dripping down in there. Yeah. Where's that slate from? That's what I was trying to... That doesn't even make sense. Or maybe they're letting the water drop onto the slate so it doesn't burn a hole in the floor. <laughs> Look at this carpet. Oh, I just got it in the ear. You say he's found some pictures in here? Yeah. Size of the ceilings. Like 15 foot or whatever it is. I'll be careful out here. There would have been a fountain. I just think this was probably originally someone's home once upon a time. I know it'd be a Bible. Always is. But these, uh, this is marble too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, let's see. They're proper care home pictures. Aren't they? Yeah, always. Fucking David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, this is a joke. Look at the size of it. Wow. And this place is wild strange because there's not one sign as you're coming in saying like, no trespassing, nothing like that. It's just all open. Chandeliers in every single room. Check this place out.
This is incredible though. Yeah. Because these rooms are like, obviously this is the actual, whoa. Oh yeah, this is the library. Oh, there's books as well. Damn. So we're in the old library and there's a stack of books over here. Most of this place has been cleared out. Look at this though. Hundreds of books. And files. Files as well. to the left. A lift. What are you doing in my house? <laughs> when you know to know. <laughs> Swaggering around the property. <laughs> Upstairs. That marble's going nowhere, is it? No. You can see it's made with like, what is it? Three sections of marble, each pillar. Yeah. Well, there's only three pillars, but it's all that decoration and I love the color of it as well. There's a door to to nowhere. Wow. Oh my God. Tell you what, after all the years that I've been exploring, it's one of the best like rooms that I've seen with the decoration still. So intact. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. I know there's that bit there, but there's so much left and the chandelier, the power's on, it's all rare. Really rare stuff. It's a grade two listed building. Don't really see this. It's a rare find. We yeah. For ages. So 
So these new parts are added by this section. But look, oh my God, it's abandoned at its best. It doesn't come much better than that. So there's another, this whole tunnel connects all round, back round to the Georgian mansion. But this bit I love. So what would have been in these parts originally? Because they've got light fittings on now. But if you're going way back over 200 years, paintings? Hmm. So there. This bit that curls all the way around, and then there was an office here. And it says over there, blood box suction machine. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, there's the old chair. <laughs> yeah. Probably is like a hundred years old. Damn, these doors. How loud would it be to Everything's swollen through the through the dampness inside this building. What a shame, just because it's grade two listed, they're gonna go, oh well, can't do anything with it. Yeah, through these doors, you'd come across their own little stage area. I would love to see some of the performances on there over the last hundred years or whatever. Look at the mold in this building. This is what I'm saying. But this is what I wanted to show you. And I won't be able to show you until the next room, but look at the ceiling. And that's untouched stained glass. For some reason it's ultra dark. I think they've built over the top of it and no natural light can get anywhere near it. But in the next room, there's another one. Look at the size of these rooms. But look, look with your ears, look at this. Oh my God. These are probably original as well. They look it. Yeah. Look at this place. This will get left until it drops to the floor. It's caught all the way there. The mold in there, there's no coming back from that. Not a chance. Ugh. Yeah, there's puddles, green puddles in here. The hell? Slime has been in there. One of the best rooms I've ever come across Yeah. Activities. My activities are oh. oh my god. Oh my word. Yo, the mould is bad. We shouldn't be breathing all that in. Oh, that is disgusting. That's proper black mould in there. Oh, it does go. Oh, that stinks. Oh my days. We've been. Have we been along here? I don't know. I don't think we have. You know kids haven't been in here because one of the first things they do is smash mirrors and all the porcelain stuff. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of actual smash windows. There's not one bit of graffiti. The only people that must have been in this place are other explorers, photographers, actual legit ones. No, I'm lost. I reckon you would have been able to use the balcony once upon a time, but 
So the front gate's just down there. And there's no sign of life around here. Look at this. Little terraces and stuff. Yeah, you can't get out there now, but... On this property, you've got the Georgian mansion, then some... I don't know, that block's probably early 1900s. And then you've got another block there, which looks like 1990s or something, but the whole complex is abandoned. <laughs> Look at the state of the building. Actually, I can taste it. It's listening. From seaside resort. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's that weird room. Oh, yeah. Spooky as hell. Dingy, yeah. That's creepy. Yeah, that must have been bad. It's a lot. It's way too many. So that's where we started the explore. Just in there. Came through that little bit and into this extra added on bit. And the other parts are even newer. I'm not even sure they're interesting at all. But I do, I do want to get outside in that courtyard. So the whole place has been cleared, but with the power on and the architecture and history, this place is amazing. So yeah, I do, I'm gonna go around and turn these lights off. Weird, it's like a, just a cord. Really dodgy stuff. So what, we're looking for the kitchen that was here, wasn't it? It's a funny door. Wow. Yeah, there's worse rooms in here. It looks like they sold most of the equipment as well. There's a dodgy little grill just left up there. But whatever was here and stuff. What's this? Washing, Okay, that must be worth a bit of money though. You think the sirens are coming up here? Watch out. Let's do it. Send it. There's a house. There's another house. Damn, look at the mansion. Ooh. Ready to go down in the cellar. This is like the original foundations too. We've gone definitely back a couple of hundred years now. The sound has changed. The stairs are tripping me up. Look. What are you? What? That was a... Oh my word. Do you reckon that was like an worm or something? Can we not open that? Wow, he must got a walking stick in the face. Nice, nah, wow! That's a, I need to get a better shot of this. Oh my god, when you do it on there, it's really weird because you can see the brickwork under the bottom, like reflecting from the top. Where do you want to shine it? I don't know, when you, when you shine the light like that, you can see the reflection of the brickwork on the top. I'll show you what I mean. Shine it up. Up. What is even in there? So that pump's connected to this this bit which is inside the original well. That is amazing. 
Yeah, so that's where the old well is. And then they had this pump connected down in the dungeon. Yeah, it's soaked. Um, we don't know where this goes and how bad this flooding's going to be either. It goes off left and right. Where are we going first? You choose. Go left. Going left. Yeah, watch your head though, definitely. Oh my word, it's big. Shame. Oh, it goes in there too. Oh, it's like a proper legit dungeon. I thought it was going to be echoey down here, but it's not. It's dead silent. That kind of reminds me of a church for some reason. What the hell? Oh, yeah, you do see these old shelves. We saw them under Piercefield Mansion, didn't we? Oh, yeah. It's the same ones. What is this? I swear it just lit up. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe it's just lighting on it. It's like a ringing in my ears. Mm. Where there's nothing. You getting that? Yeah. It's like I'm waiting for something to happen. Huh. Oh, wow. Shit. It's like a dungeon. It is like a dungeon. Let's go and sleep in a dungeon tonight. Oh, hang on, we already are, aren't we? I know. <sighs> so that's the second oldest addition, and then you've got the real newer one there. But now Look at the sky, we're in twilight. Yeah. Do you know what that stands for? No, nor do I. So that's the end of the explore. A spontaneous Georgian mansion, grade two listed. Grab your opportunity while you can. We're out of it before security comes. Hear the sirens? Oh.